everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i think i want to build a tiny home for like a teenager so like maybe they're a runaway teen or whatever or maybe they had an argument with their parents and they're moving out so i thought i wanted to build this i'm building it in copperdale because i mean that just makes sense to me so i wanted to make this a micro home so like 32 tiles and I, I mean, we can do that, right? Like, so maybe the back area over here can be a bathroom. And then this perhaps could be like a kitchen. Or this could be the bed, kitchen over here. We might not have a like seating area, but it is a small home. So I guess you can't really get everything. So this is the house so far. Okay, so this was going to be the bathroom. Should it still be the bathroom? I mean, it could, and then this is just the door. But would it be weird to have the bathroom in the front of the house? That's a question. That's a good question. Would it be weird? Because, like, I want them to have a double bed, but they don't need a double bed. They can just have a single bed, to be honest. So, like, maybe the bathroom can go right here. They have a single bed right here, kitchen, living, sitting space, or kitchen, front door, I don't know. Okay, so this is the color that I picked for the house. So we have some bricks over here and then we just have blue on it. I feel like it matches the flowers a little bit. It brings in the flowers. Right now I'm questioning the roof color. And I am questioning the way the roof just looks in general. I mean, we could go for that instead, or we could go for this in different colors. Maybe we'll go for this. What if we just wrong these in? Like, that probably looks weird, huh? What if we do it like that? And then we could still bring this down. I don't think this looks too bad. I don't think it looks that bad. We need to pick a door for the bathroom. So I think we'll just go with the Dream Home decorated door in the white color. So we can just put this in the middle. And then also we're just gonna use like the Dream Home deck, not the Dream Home decorator, the Discover University shower in the middle. So we might have to adjust the window for that. But right now we're just gonna find a tiled, not a tiled floor, but a floor to go in here. I like the, the flooring from Cats and Dogs. So this could be nice and then we could either just put wood in here or we could do tiles. I think we should just, you know, stick to the tiles because I never do this color but I don't think I will. I feel like that's a little weird. And like what if we did tiling? No, I don't think that makes So maybe we'll just do blue tiling in here. And then for the walls, we'll just do the same matching tiles. So they don't have the same matching tiles. So we'll just do the white tiles. Let's get started. Um, I do have this up. Um, I don't really have a budget for this home. So, um, yeah, but I hopefully it doesn't go over $20,000. That would suck. So like what counter should we use? Should we use like the snowy escape ones? Like there's different options, but also I think we're just gonna have like one counter. So maybe we'll just get the appliances first. So we're gonna need a stove. Okay, my question is, this is a teen, right? So maybe let's pretend like maybe they live in a world where Maybe they live in a world where you have to buy your own stove and stuff. And obviously they don't have enough money for that. So maybe they just get like a microwave. I mean, that is a possibility. Or they could get, they could have a mini fridge. Because you know, I just want to imagine they have to buy their own stove, their own, 
appliance you know what i mean fridge so they could have this microwave or they could have like they could have this or they could have this but do we want the microwave or do we want this is the question that i'm not sure of or should we just get the stove that's in the counter and that's all they can afford so you can make salads you can make cakes brownies i guess or any food that just goes straight into the oven but yeah that's our option so bb.move objects is on so now i'm just going to like alt place this closer because it is kind of bothering me so i think we'll just go with the pink oh we can go for the lighter counter or we could go for a blue counter anyways i think to fill in the space oh my gosh i just spilled april oh my goodness apron so i think i want to put these aprons right here next to it and then we could just do it in pink or blue so maybe we'll just do it in pink for right now we could get some blinds for the window i mean this fits perfectly i don't know if i like it though because it's like so far away from the window like like what is the point of view there is this little vine thing that i do want to use so now i'm thinking like should we use the my first pet stuff because i do like this a lot And obviously it does cover the window. So what if we use the long one? What if we like size it down? We raise it up. Is that fine? Oh no, that's not fine. Okay. Is that fine? I mean, there's a little window you can see. Like obviously it's not the best, but I think it's cute. It could be raised up one more. yeah so i do like that and then you could cook on this counter space and then this is just open so we could honestly put a plant right there i think this one is just so pretty like maybe this person is obsessed obsessed with plants let's just move on to the bathroom since it's the quickest part to get done i'm going to use the tiny living toilet and then i think i'll use the sink from high school years and then i'll just use the mirror from tiny living so let's decorate so we will need oh okay so let's decorate the sink we could use some skincare i don't know if this yeah it snaps but it's kind of like too wide so we can use this got some lotion we will need soap of course use some soap and we also do need toothbrushes so i'll probably have to like all place that because there's only like two snaps on here yeah there's two snaps so you think i can just okay so there we go oh no that's touching okay so there we go we have our lotions or our skin tape our skincare then we have our soap and our toothbrushes so i do want to get a hand towel and then um we need a shower so we're just going to use this one simple 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 and we don't have to move the window because i placed it correctly i guess and then should we get towels above the sink perhaps not above the sink but above the toilet so i think i'll just put tissues over there and then we'll need towels so would it be weird i don't think it's weird i mean it would suck for your towel to like fall into the toilet obviously but it's the sims and i don't know maybe close the toilet bowl but yeah and then we'll just need this toilet roll I don't know if that's in the right height because this room is so small but yeah i think that's fine and i don't think we should put a rug because 
it will look weird because I don't know it'll just be over the drain now that I'm thinking about it this would be a beautiful desk space because they are teenagers so they will need to use a desk to do their homework so like now I'm thinking like should I just put it right here or should the bed just be as soon as you walk in like that seems like the worst I think it should just be in the corner to be honest Yeah, I don't know if we'll use this bed, but we can try. I love this bed. I don't really use it, but I love it. Like, what if we use this bed? This is cute. Since they are a teen and they're living on their own, like some of the furniture just might not match, which that does make sense, but I don't know exactly if I want to do that. But like, I mean, yeah, because like not everything is going to match. They might not have exactly nice furniture. So, yeah. So I'm just going to add this little poof as their nice stand. And we could do it in, I don't know what color to do it in. Let's do it in yellow. And then maybe we could get some clutter on it. Because obviously this is soft, right? Like this little nightstand is soft, so you're probably not gonna put pots on there because like it's just gonna fall off, like it's just gonna fall. So I'm thinking that we put things that are light. So like this would be light. Maybe some magazines, but like if they're stacked on each other, they're definitely gonna slip, so. So I did say I wanted a desk. We'll just do it right here. Um, I'll give them like this laptop. So yeah, and then we could just give them a rug. So what if they brought their childhood rug from home? So by that, I mean this Kinder Maid cute area rug. And they just used it under their desk because that's like all they had. And then I think we could do it in blue if there's like a blue swatch. That, yeah, so like we could do blue clouds or is that too much? We could do the polka dots. Um, I mean, there's a lot of options to choose from. I think we'll do the polka dots. So right now I'm thinking of this to match the little poof. I know I said like everything won't match realistically, but I don't know. I mean, she obviously did not find this in the dumpster. We could do the yellow. Is that too much yellow? I love the color yellow, to be honest. But this might be a little too much. Like, should we just leave it? I feel like if we leave it in plain white, we're definitely going to have to change these walls. So, okay, should we get a cork board or something? There's this little diary that maybe they left on the refrigerator. Oh my gosh, or should we get the cuter cork board? I was not even thinking about this. I feel like I always forget about this, to be honest. Cause like most of the times my teenagers aren't like doing anything for a pen pal. So I just forget about it. And then when I, when they're adults, I'm like, I want it to look more serious. So I just use the plain one. Like what if I just stacked some of these together? I know that's probably weird, but like it's so empty. I mean, we could just do the white one. The blue and the white one. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And then, so this is where the trash can is, but we could move the trash can to be over here. And then we could get like a little plant in this corner. So we could get this one from Cottage Living. I also feel like a light would be good behind here. So like a little lamp and the computer is um, portable so you will be able, be able to put it in your inventory so they could do their homework on it even though they tend to do their homework on it anyways. I always move the computer if it's portable because it just doesn't look right like why are you doing your homework through your keyboard. 
yeah so they have this little blue light should i'm making it yellow so this is kind of cute for it's twelve thousand dollars i mean obviously there's not landscaping it's it's, it's it's a tiny home but i feel like usually when i do tiny homes they always are expensive like always maybe they have some photos up of like some of their family members like obviously i know they moved out but like maybe they're a little sad maybe they're good memories they can think of and then now i'm thinking of more decorations like shoes like maybe they have some shoes under their bed or something or just on the floor it's under the bed too much what if we had it under the couch i don't really like these shoes but these like converse i wish they were separate so because i just hate i just hate that like what if we turn it this way okay this way what if we turn it this way and then we like hide the other pair of shoes like is that okay we can't really angle it yeah because like that's fine right okay now we're gonna change the wall i like the purple i don't know if that's doing too much but I did say in the beginning of the video I wanted this to be colorful. Don't know if I left that in or not. Sometimes I just cut things out. And then like, I don't know, there's just, yeah, a gray wall. So I love the way the inside turned out, but now we have to do the outside. Using the same trees kind of like irk me. Cause I don't know, I just, it feels weird. There's these flower trees, honestly, that I love. Flower trees. Trees with a little bit of flowers on them. What is it? Do they add this to base game? Like, is this what, cause they added something, right? Like, is this what that is? I don't think that's what this is. Yeah, that's not what it is, but I think it does the job like it does it and then we'll just add a little bit of dirt okay nope 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 stop it like why does it do that so now i'm just gonna add some melt some i'm just gonna add a trash can and a mailbox i'll just stick it right there and then the mailbox can be right here um, so I'm thinking like what if we add some like outdoor activities um, as I as I say that I'm just gonna add like some planter boxes I think that would just be cute like maybe they came with the house but if they didn't and she just put them up herself or they just put them up themselves I mean okay maybe that's going a little too far maybe we'll just do simple planter boxes just simple or we should do none. This is the final build. I'm very happy with it. Um, I should probably get an outdoor light. Probably should just get one of those. Should probably should get one of those. So we'll just put this right here above the flowers. And then we're all good. But anyways, I'm going to give you a tour. So this is your little pathway up. You have gardening plants. You have your mailbox. And then over here, we have your bike, your garbage can, and some landscaping. So once you walk in, you have your purses and your keys, pictures, a plant, and you also have this beautiful desk that I used and decorated. So we have makeup on the desk, we have snacks, we have mail, we have sticky notes, and then we have our bookcases and we have our trash cans. Then we have our AC. Over on this side, we have our bed, we have a nice skin, we also have a cork board, and we have posters. We have our TV, our console, our shoes, and then we have more shoes under the couch. Then we have this dream home decorator couch in yellow. And we have our small little kitchen. We have aprons, plant, diary, and just an oven, not a stove. 
in our bathroom our small little bathroom we have our shower we have our towels toilets and then our sink and then yeah so that's 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 the house um i'm very proud of it anyways if you did like this video please let me know what other videos you want to see and after making this i realized that i did make it colorful as much as i wanted it to be and i did mention in the video if i don't know if i edited it out or not who who's who's to say what i did but i did say that she's a teenager she's moving out on her own so they probably won't have matching furniture and etc like but these do go well together like they don't look like run down and terrible so and my question is should i make another teenage home but more run down if you know what i mean like more trashy because i would love to do that honestly that would be so much fun but like i said if you want to see more like and subscribe to not like miss any of my content and i will see you later bye